All right, YouTube, this is Amadez Shum, and I'm going to do a quick video on my skincare regimen and what I do basically to have um, clear skin right now. My skin is right now, um, I just woke up, so y'all getting me raw and uncut. So of course, I don't have any makeup on my face or anything like that. So I'm going to put my hair because I don't want to get any products or anything in my locks. So I'm going to put my hair in without a ponytail and I'm actually going to put a shower cap on. So I have to make sure that nothing gets in my hair. Okay, so now we're going to start off. Oh, let me take all of my bracelets, my crystals and everything off. Oh, how did that happen? All right. Okay, so first you wanna start with your face being clean. So if you have on makeup, you want to, um, you know, cleanse your skin first, um, get all the makeup and everything off your face. So next, I have a turmeric and chakra soul. So I have used this already before. Um, so we're gonna start off with that. I wanna show you guys how this lathers up. And that is up pretty good. And I must say that this soap gets my face squeaky clean. I love this soap. And this regimen is good for if you have combination skin, sensitive skin, if you have oily skin. I have um, clients that have all three types skin, all three skin types and have had great results. I have combination skin. All right, so. I'm gonna wash my face now. So rinse it off. All right, so I don't know if you guys can notice a difference, but I feel the difference. My face is a lot smoother. And again, like I was saying that, it gets your face squeaky clean. All right, so after I do that, and this is, I don't normally do this in the morning, but I do this more so at night. Most of this stuff I do at night. Um, the morning I just maybe put soap on and my 24K serum. So next I do my sugar scrub. So this is my sugar scrub. It has lemon, it's like a lemon sugar scrub, has vitamin E in it. Um, and sometimes I infuse it with lavender buds, um, but I have used up all of that. So I'm not doing that right now. So the next thing is the scrub. As you can see, this has a great consistency. I'm gonna put that on my face. 
And this is to scrub out any excess dirt for, on your face. And I don't really have a lot because I have combination skin plus this is the morning. Again, normally I do this at night. Make sure you get your lips. All of my products are natural, 100% natural also. So you can actually eat the products. But of course we're not gonna do that. And everything, again, is I make my own products. And I've came up with this skincare regimen for my face and I decided to share it with everyone else. So I do provide this and you can actually purchase my products. All right, so if you have oily skin, this is great for oily skin because it's gonna get all the oils off your face the oil and the dirt. All right, so I'm gonna rinse that off. All right, so after this process, your face is gonna feel a lot more smoother because, for instance, where you might have some type of um, roughness on your face, it's going to smooth that out. All right, so the next step is the mask now i'm going to kind of like pat my face dry a little bit because i don't want to really get water into the mask so after that we're going to do my it's sea moss infused mask and it has vitamin e oil in it um and it has sea moss and if you know anything about sea moss, sea moss has 92 minerals of the 102 minerals that you need in your body. So it has a lot of great healing properties um, in it. So I decided to combine that because I like the consistency. It's like a jelly. Um, once you like pop it in the refrigerator, it has a jelly consistency. And I didn't want my mask to be dry and cracky and stuff like that. I don't know if that's a word, cracky, but I don't want it to be dry and cracking. Um, I want it to be a smooth application and, um, you know, pretty much it. So that's why I I combined uh, the shape, not shape, but I combined the sea moss because I liked the properties also that it has in it. So we're going to start off with that. This is how it looks. All right. So we're going to start off with that. And if you could tell, it's not, oops, it's not um, dry or anything like that. It has like a, a dense jelly consistency. So I'm gonna put that on my face. I actually think I grabbed too much, but we're just gonna and the mask is to lock in moisture. And this is one of my favorite products because I love, once I wash it off, I just love how my face feels. 
it feels like I don't know like a a baby bottom <laughs> but I love how it feels and see the application is so smooth Now you don't want to put this too close to your eyes, it's mostly on your face. Now again, I told you all my products are natural and a lot of them you can actually you can eat. But this one in particular does not taste great. <laughs> so I don't advise you to try to eat this one. I have so much extra here. I got way too much. All right. So then you will leave this on for about three to five minutes. Not that long at all. If you want to apply it to your neck, you can, you know, but I don't really need to do that. But yeah. And it's going to take about three minutes to dry. I normally don't have to keep it on that long, like not even five minutes. Three minutes for me is good. Because then it starts to dry up and starts to get uncomfortable, a little uncomfortable. All right, so while we wait for that to dry, I'm going to talk about my next product. So... After I do the mask, now, this is optional. Depending on your skin and depending on what works for you. Now, again, I have combination skin. So I don't have to put too much oil or too much products on my face. So if you have oily skin if you have acne prone skin um, I would suggest that you do the rose water if you have uh, dry skin also I would suggest that yes 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 okay wait a second So I suggest you put the rose water first. All right, so like I was saying, homeschooling, you gotta love it. <laughs> but anyway, so like I was saying is, this is after the mask and We'll do the close-up after the mask. So, again, it depends on what type of skin that you have. Um, so, if you have um, more so like um, oily, I'm going to say oily, acne-prone skin, you will put the rose water on first, then do the mask. So, any other type of skin, combination skin, dry skin, um oily skin you will put the rose water on after the mask and the only reason why i say that is because for me after doing a mask my face is it feels a little bit dry and i don't like my face feeling dry like that just a little bit it's really clean really really clean but it's just it's just a little dry for me so what i like to do the rose water I have is like a some mist and it's infused with um, rose buds. It has vitamin E oil and just like a lot of good healing properties in rose water. So I just like to do a light mist over my face and it kind of like, it kind of like releases my face from being so um, stiff and dry from the mask then after I do that mist I'm going to do this is my 24k serum okay so it's infused with 
um, 24K flakes and um, jasmine buds. Jasmine is good for anti-aging. It also has, um, it has tea tree oil, rosemary, all of that is great. Vitamin E oil, all of that is great for, um, for anti-aging, for acne, things like that. So this can be used on a teenager's face. This whole regimen, a teenager can use this also. So I'm gonna just do like three drops. And this is what it's like my face feels very I put some on my lips too it feels very rejuvenating I also like to put this like on my neck all right and this is a close-up of my face And I actually have a client that um, she has uh, PCOS and where, you know, her face has some type of, sometimes it grows facial hair and um, also like around her cheek area, it was getting like really, um, it was really rough. I don't know if it was like acne or whatever, but she tried a lot of different products, um, over the counter different products. Um, and it was just making her face worse and she decided to try my products and her face looks amazing right now it's very smooth like how you see my face right now smooth and it has a glow to it her that's what her face looks like right now I was just I mean not shocked because I know my products work but I was amazed on how great her skin looks and they're they're all natural. Everything I make on my own, everything is, you know, it's it's natural, vegan uh, products that has no chemicals in it, um, essential oils, um, just natural products. And that's important for me. Everything I use is mostly natural as far as it goes to my toupees, um, my hair products. I use natural things. I just believe, you know, in natural products. So yeah, I don't want to make this video just extra, extra long. It already got cut off because I got interrupted. So um, that is the facial regimen. And then for my body, I use a shea butter, body butter mixture that I make also that makes my skin glow. I don't have on right now, but I'm going to do that as I get dressed. And that is it. So. If you have any questions um you know put in the comment section <laughs> in the comment the comment section um and i would say you know subscribe share all of that stuff um and if you want to purchase products for me you can email me which is going to be in the description box um, you can email me at um, goddessglow at gmail.com, which is spelled G-H-O-D-D-E-S-S-G-L-O-W, or glow at gmail.com. All right, so you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed.